As fighting intensifies in the Yarmouk camp, south of Damascus, ISIL fighters scream their rallying cries. Showcasing to the world how they're closer than ever to Syria's seat of power. On Syrian state television, though, the message couldn't be more contradictory. A bombastic montage and message, whether by land, air, or sea, the country's armed forces are as strong as ever. In Syria, the propaganda war has raged almost as long as the actual war. Listen to President Bashar al-Assad, and he vows to vanquish the enemies of Syria. Listen to opposition fighters, and they swear the same, nothing less than total victory. One rebel alliance called Jaysh al-Fatah claims it's consolidating positions in Idlib and moving forward. They say their recent advances against Syrian forces have only made them more confident and they'll fight on. And here's the leader of Jabhat al-Nusra, which is part of Jaysh al-Fatah, saying much the same. We are not murderers. We are not criminals. We fight those who fight us. We're standing against tyranny. The battle doesn't end at Kadaha, the Alawite heartland and the birthplace of the Assad clan. We will continue our focus on Damascus and on toppling this regime. I assure you, Assad's fall won't take a long time. Then there's ISIL, promising to take over far more than just one country in their quest to establish a caliphate. In the Syrian conflict, truth and clarity have been two of the most obvious casualties. But here's what is known. ISIL is now in control of large parts of territory stretching from Raqqa to Deir ez-Zur, as well as recently captured Palmyra. While government forces have been pushed back, they still hold parts of Aleppo and areas east of Hama and Homs. Jaysh al-Fatah, meanwhile, seems to be moving further south of Idlib and also towards Latakia. As the Syrian conflict enters its fifth year, the only thing certain is how much civilians have suffered. With more than 300,000 people killed, the country's humanitarian crisis grinds on in the cruelest possible fashion. Despite all the boasting, it seems clearer than ever that in this war, there are no bragging rights. Muhammad Jamjoum, Al Jazeera.